Hello and welcome to the 8th grade virtual open house for Joliet Township High School. My name is Paul Oswell and I'm the Curriculum Director for Social Studies, World Languages, and ELL, but I do spend a lot of time working with our Honors and AP program, as I had the pleasure of having taught AP European History for over 15 years at Joliet West Campus. I would like to take this opportunity to go through the program with you and provide some information that will help you better understand what our program is all about. When we made a conscious effort to build a program, we felt that we needed specific goals that would provide the roadmap for what we wanted to do in the program. As a result, we've decided to focus on these goals and to continually strive to meet and exceed them year after year. They are to increase the number of overall students enrolled in an AP or honors course, to increase the number of course offerings to fit the needs of all of our students, increase the percentage of underrepresented students and low income students enrolled in, in an AP or honors course, Increase the number of students who take AP exams. Increase the number of students who receive a three or higher on the AP exam. Increase the percentage of exams that receive a three or higher on the AP exam. That we're looking at a 60% average on that. And lastly, to support all of our AP and honor students. For those unfamiliar with the differences between AP and honors, I will spend just a minute to differentiate between the two. Both really challenge students more than a college prep course and generally carry more work outside of the classroom as there are many more skills associated with the course along with a lot more content. But they do differ in that an AP class would provide students with college credit upon a successful score of three, four, or five on an AP exam that is taken in May. Honors classes generally help students prepare for AP courses, but their content is more district driven while the college board regulates what it is to be taught in an AP class. Currently, the courses that are labeled as honors are as follows. Our honors English 1 and English 2, honors biology, chemistry, and physics, honors algebra, geometry, advanced algebra, and pre-calculus. Most of these cor courses are offered at the freshman, sophomore, and possibly junior level, but these would be considered our truly honors courses and are not regulated by the college board. Here is a list of all of the AP courses that we offer at Joliet Township High School. As you can see, Joliet Township offers many AP courses from all four core areas, plus additional courses in music, art, career and technical education, and world language. There literally is a course for all students to enroll in throughout their time at JT based upon what their needs are. So before we go into the nuances of the program, I did want to share some of our success story with you as we have seen phenomenal growth and success with our program, which culminated in our district becoming the National AP District of the Year in 2017. What is even more amazing though, and what you will see in the next few slides, is that we have seen even more success after 2017. Our participation rate has continued to excel with a little drop off from last year's interruption due to COVID, but our current trajectory looks to increase from our 2019 levels. What is drastic is how much we have grown from 2009 from having only 159 students take exams to over a thousand just from last year. In addition, we have seen the amount of exams also increase substantially over the last decade to go from 228 exams given in 2009 to almost 1,800 in 2019. That is over eight times the amount of exams in just 10 years time. Not only has JT seen an increase in test takers and overall exams, but we have seen that our students are continually performing at a high level as more than half of our 1,600 plus exams earned a three or higher in 2020. While on the next screen, we will see that our students are over 50% with at least one three on an exam. Even with such a crazy end to our year last year, our students still managed to succeed on their AP exams. With over 58% of our students earning at least a three on an AP exam in 2020, which was a 5% increase from 2019, and well over 20% from 2014. 
Although there's not an AP track, we typically see many of our honors and AP students take honors core courses their freshman year and include AP Human Geography as their social studies course during that time. The options though increase as students can decide to take more AP courses later on in their high school career, or some may decide to take an AP course for the first time during their junior or senior year. We have seen many students take zero honors or AP courses, but then decide to take one their senior year in an area that they are interested in just to see if they can be challenged more or even if they see that they can earn college credit. As a student begins the process of enrolling in an honors or AP course, he or she should consider the following questions to make this decision. Some freshmen may choose to opt out of honors or AP but can enroll in some of these courses beginning in their sophomore year or beyond. Typically, we would like to ask the questions of all of our students to see if they are ready to take an AP or honors course. These questions include, what discipline or disciplines are you interested in? What does your schedule look like? Are there any after school commitments that you're required to participate in? How many are you currently taking? Again, we don't wanna have students taking every single class being an AP course, so we wanna make sure that there is balance. And lastly, are you fulfilling all of our JTHS prerequisites? These questions, along with many others, should be discussed prior to enrolling in an AP or honors course. As we talk to our current enrollees in our AP and honors courses, as well as those who have graduated from JT, we typically get a sense that our students kind of share some similar experiences when they enroll in an AP or honors course. These experiences are preparing students for the reality of college. They also feel that the classes are fast paced and cover a lot of material, while also that the AP or honors course that they did take, or all of the courses that they took for that matter in AP or honors, did require a lot more time in and out of the classroom to complete their lessons, assignments, and homework. In addition, honors and AP teachers overall expect students to think critically, read effectively, and write clearly and with purpose. Some of the benefits of taking an AP course include standing out in college admissions, earning college credit, being able to skip introductory classes, and building college skills. But overall, we seem to find that students who do take at least one AP course throughout their academic career at JT tend to feel more prepared for college or for post-secondary opportunities. In addition, successful completion of AP coursework could also save families money. As college tuition prices soar, we see AP as a way to gain college credit for a fraction of the cost of a public or private college or university. Yes, AP course AP courses are a lot of hard work, but if students do receive a passing grade of a three, four, or five, then they do have the opportunity to gain many college credits that can be used to either graduate early, study abroad, or even to double major. Even if students do not receive a three or higher on an AP exam and do not receive college credit, they will still be more prepared for further AP, college, or post-secondary opportunities. Many students who receive a low AP exam grade their freshman year or even sophomore year seem to perform better moving into another AP exam as they learn better study skills, become more self-advocates for themselves, and buy into the class earlier and are more prepared for the rigors and challenges of the course. Aside from familial support and encouragement, which is extremely important for any AP or honor student, JT offers many opportunities to help honors and AP students including providing tutoring experiences through National Honor Society and from honors and AP teachers. In addition, they have subscriptions to Albert IO as well as Khan Academy. Throughout the year, AP teachers regularly host review sessions for important unit exams, as well as providing review sessions for the actual AP exam, which occur either during the week in the evenings or possibly even on weekends. In years past, AP teachers have also given practice AP exams toward the end of the year so that students can feel what the test is all about and that they can help them prepare for what they still need to focus on moving into that May exam. Lastly, we offer to our incoming freshmen a free honors or AP summer enrichment camp in the areas of our core, which include 
AP Human Geography, Honors Biology, Honors English 1, and Honors Algebra slash Geometry. Well, I hope this provided you with the information that you need to consider before enrolling in any of our Honors or AP courses. But if you need any further information, please feel free to call me at 815-727-6806 or email me at poswald at jths.org. I would absolutely love to talk more about all of the benefits of our Honors and AP program with you. Thank you so much, and I look forward to working with you in the very near future.